Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Welcome to Six News. Today we are doing a year in review for Rainbow Six Siege and we're going to be focusing down on one big thing and that is Mousetrap. And the addition of this feature to Rainbow Six Siege was arguably the biggest surprise of the year for me. And this is with a year that had many surprising things that I just never thought would happen in Siege. So up until the announcement of this in February of this year, I assumed there would never be a fix for mouse and keyboard on the console. There would never be any kind of anti-cheat that could combat it in any way. And I was then surprised to hear that Ubisoft had actually been working on a feature and it was going to come out. They had scheduled to come out midway through the first season, which was April of this year. However, it certainly did not get off to a smooth launch because it actually launched with the season launch accidentally, it would appear, and would flag people playing with mouse and keyboard, but also some players playing with controllers. Now, my coverage of this feature said a few things. So if I got a couple of months with no mouse and keyboard on console, because that's where I primarily play the game, then I was going to be very happy and very surprised. I also thought that within a week, it'll be bypassed. And then I thought the only thing that's going to keep this feature alive and it working is if they iterate kind of regularly. And I mean quite regularly, within like a week or two of something being found that they need to fix. And looking back over the rest of this year, unfortunately, they haven't been able to do a lot of that. Now, first off, the bypass from the developers of the hardware, I thought that would come out real quick and real fast, and it didn't. It ended up being bypassed by other like exploits of doing certain things that were kind of simple, and it took a long time for Ubisoft to patch that stuff out. And I know of two exploits that were used. I don't know how the heck they do it. Or, like I don't have the hardware myself, and you know I'm not going to test it or anything like that. So I knew there was at least two exploits that seemed relatively simple, and they took a very long time to fix it. So iteration of the Mousetrap software was very, very bad. And that means today, at the end of 2023, I think that the amount of mouse and keyboard players on console was probably still quite similar to what it was at the beginning of the year. And I think we did have some major drops throughout the year when Mousetrap was working really well. But I think for the most part, it's been bypassed, unfortunately. Now on Ubisoft's site, I don't expect them to ever release numbers on how good or bad it has actually been performing. It could have been that it took 10% away, 20%, 30%, 50% easily, but from a gamer's point of view, it's going to be very hard to figure that out. And I think there's still plenty of mouse and keyboard players playing on console. Now, I was also hoping that Mousetrap would be able to expand to other things. So like anti-recoil stuff, I thought they would be expand to that and block that too. And that's one where I think should be relatively easy, right? If someone is shooting and their cursor just doesn't move when they're shooting and it is always perfectly in the center, you would think they would be able to detect that and take it out. Now, this is the problem though. I bet there's some really good players out there who can do that themselves with no additional hardware. And of course they'd get caught by it. And that leads us nicely into a couple of other things about Mousetrap too mainly false positives. This is when controller players get hit with mousetrap. And of course that then messes up any possibility of sanctions for the cheers. Cause if you are gonna actually catch some innocent players alongside that, you can't go banning them. So it's unfortunate. So I think that mousetrap, although it has definitely given me a couple of months this year where I felt like I was playing a lot less mouse and keyboard players and I freaking enjoyed that. And I'm grateful for that for even a short time. It has not been able to do it in the long term. I think iteration has been too slow and I think it's going to just be the fact that it is a really complicated thing for them to solve. Like I said before Mousetrap came out, I never thought there would ever be anything that would go up against mouse and keyboard on console and that was my assumption until we finally had something but it has obviously been extremely hard to actually do. Now on the good side of all this, we did see a whole bunch of other people go after the same mouse and keyboard players. So we had Activision, they came in with their own version of Mousetrap, so that was good to see. We've had Xbox and PlayStation try their best to block stuff, so that's good to see. So the tide is turning, but I do not expect ever for, and basically this is exactly the same as what I said before Mousetrap shows up, I don't expect there ever to be an actual solution that works, at least not long term. And more importantly, it has to also be 100% accurate and never pick up a legit player, which I think is also going to be pretty much impossible to do as well. And that means, unfortunately, my conclusions are pretty much the same as before Mousetrap, which is that I don't think they'll ever have a solution that works. It's going to be basically exactly the same as anti-cheat on PC. You can never, ever catch all the cheaters. It's just never going to happen. And unfortunately, that means you're going to end up in a position where there always will be people getting through the cracks. And that sucks. 
And I think it's always going to be a cat and mouse game. But unfortunately for Mousetrap, I think it's too slow to catch up. I think it has to be iterated on way faster than it currently is. And even when they do give it updates, they can't tell us that they've updated it because, of course, it's an anti-cheat. They don't exactly go advertising when stuff is changing with an anti-cheat. So, yeah, it's uh, going to be something that I don't think will be solved, which, unfortunately, is the same opinion I had before Mousetrap showed up. And then Mousetrap definitely got my hopes up. And I do praise it for giving me a couple of months of no cheaters because I literally had a couple of very nice... Uh, ranked sessions throughout a couple of seasons where it was just very nice to play on xbox again and i'll always be very thankful for that and maybe we'll get a couple more months in the future at some point that will be helpful with more updates but i do not expect to see a long-term solution unfortunately we'll see though maybe are we wrong uh, but so far i think by thinking there wasn't going to be ever a solution and now where we are, I still think we're kind of in the same situation. So at this moment in time, I still feel like I'm correct that there's never going to be a solution for it. However, who knows, maybe I'll be surprised again in the future. And perhaps there will be an update that will go after, say, the anti-recoil stuff on console too, because I would love to see that get wiped out too. But I'm thinking, considering I think it's something simple, where the, you know, the cursor is just, the reticle is always in perfectly in the center of the screen when someone's shooting. I think that, unfortunately, it's not as simple as I think it is. So for the engineers to come up with Mousetrap, have it work for a little bit, is uh, just amazing. And I give them massive props for their attempt, their limited success. And if they can you know, push it further in the future, I will be very, very happy. But I got to give major props to everyone who worked on Mousetrap. And it would have cost, you know, it would have taken years. It would have cost millions, and you would have had to employ some of the best engineers possible to get it working to the point of where it is, and then to iterate on it, it's probably just as expensive. So I, I'm, I'm major props for their attempts and the people behind it, the actual humans behind it. Thank you very much. I, I'm so happy. I had a couple of great months this year with Siege. But certainly I'm back to doubting that there will be a long-term solution for mouse and keyboard on console. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Year in Review for Rainbow Six Siege. There'll be a couple more videos like this looking at other factors in Siege. Not normally looking at one feature, but Mousetrap was certainly a big feature for this year to take a look at. And it has definitely been interesting, if anything. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.